It's my brother's gender reveal today. Yeah. And my boy Diego is gonna decide or take a guess yeah. on what the baby gonna be. So yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you at the floor now. All right, Dennis. Congratulations, my boy. The lucky lady. Also, congratulations. I'm always a team boy. I'm always, always team boy, man. But something's telling me you about to, you about to have a little curse, man. <laughs> it's oh. Not, it's not a curse, man. But me personally, I don't want a girl, man. But something's telling me. Something screaming in my head, girl, 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 man. So I'm guessing it's a girl. He's gonna say, he's gonna, he's gonna tell me eventually, man. But yeah, I get, well, I'm well, guessing. I, it's well, I don't even know yet. So we're gonna have I'm to see. I don't got pink on, but pretend this is pink. Team girl all the way. All right. <laughs> well, there you have it, team girl. Hey, bro, anytime, like I can say before you, bro, because. Since you started cutting my hair, not a damn soul, not a damn other, like, fingertips have touched the top of my head, bro. And they used to leave, like, 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 type of, like, cross spots looking shit, bro. But anytime that you give me the fucking wavelength, bro. <laughs> I'm going to say this in a humble way. Fuck humble. I try my best, and I do what I got to do. I'm going to be cocky for him. Nah, the, man's the, the man's the shit, man. Best barber in OKC. In my, in my opinion, and I don't give a fuck about your opinion at this point, because you see this motherfucker? I do what I can. I I never, say, I never, I'm still a work in progress. I'm trying to get better every day. That's the, uh, whole, that's the whole goal of every cut. Uh, you want to continue to get better every cut. And he's going to do it. He's going to fuck So all you barbers out there that's just now starting, it's okay if you do bad on the first one. Uh, just do better on the second one. Yeah. And vice versa, just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. Also, if you haven't came to my boy Angel, or if you a girl watching this and you got a man and you want him to look good too, y'all hit him up, boy. Y'all hit me up, y'all hit me up. Y'all got grandpa That's trying it, to get back into the game too. The camera all funny, man. <laughs> It's been a very long day for the boy because the anticipation on knowing what my brother is about to have is about to be crazy. And I'm very honored to even say, to even be the one to know first. He put me in charge of doing the reveal. So I actually think that's pretty cool. So I'm about to sweep the shop. I got one more cut to do left, but I got a little gap. I'm gonna finish sweeping the shop. Then after that, we're gonna see what the baby is. So y'all stay tuned. But other than that, man, I will say this. It's crazy how I'm the oldest out of my family, so you would think I would be the first one to have the kid, right? My brother done beat me. So I think that's pretty funny. And it's crazy to see how, just watching my brother grow as a man, and I think that's pretty cool. And that's one thing I will say that's cool about cutting hair because you see your clients grow too. And that's 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 always a good thing. You see them go through hard stuff, you see them go through good stuff. But you know, it's just cool being there with your people as they get through life. And they're with you as you get through life. So I always thought that was the coolest thing about barbering. But as of right now, I hope y'all just been enjoying how my day is as a barber and this is basically what I do every day. But today is a very special day because it's my brother's gender reveal and we about to just, I'm about to take y'all through it. We're gonna have a little walkthrough of my life and y'all stay tuned, let's go. Oh. 
I didn't drop my damn clipper. It still worked though. Thank God! Oh my God! A little fun fact here, I'm gonna put you on some game. If you ever got a little free time whenever you're waiting on your next client, try to keep your workstation clean because don't nobody want to come in seeing a dirty workstation and they're just like, it just looked disorganized. When you're a clean barber and you have everything set up nice and neat, it just looks so much better and your impression on customers just look better. So, a little fun fact, have a clean workspace. All right, y'all, we're back. The results are in, I have the paper. Nobody has looked at it yet. Like I said, thanks to my brother for allowing me to be the first one to look at it and to just be part of it, I guess. And I just wanna say I appreciate that, but let's just let's go ahead and rip this open. goodness I honestly was not expecting this but I can't tell y'all I y'all have to wait till the end of the video because there's no way I'm going to just spill the beans this early in the video that's definitely not happening so I'm at, oh no, I gotta look at it again just to make sure I seen what I saw wow you are in for a surprise but stay tuned like I said we got a lot more of the vlog going so just be ready for this, man. But as of right now, we're gonna do a little self cut. I already cut myself up like two days ago. I'm just gonna go through and kind of shape everything up, line everything up again. So let's go ahead and get this going. This is one thing I love about being a barber is being able to come out here whenever I want. Like literally, I can be fresh all the time. But like I said, we're just doing a little trim up today. I'm gonna cut down the beard. So let's go ahead and get that going. Let me turn on the music so I won't get copyrighted. So when I do my beard, I like to I like my beard pretty low. I don't like to keep it too straggly. I like to put a one on and go with the grain. Just knock everything down, kind of keep everything nice and smooth, close to the face. Especially in this Oklahoma heat. I don't understand how people can be doing that. Like it's too hot to be having like the Duck Dynasty beard. I don't know why. But I always feel like my left side is so much easier to do than my right side. I'm probably gonna have to jack this side up, I don't know why, but it's always been like that. I struggle on this side so much, but let's wait and see. And we are good, we got it going. Yes, sir. I believe I got it how I want it. Look at that, I just cut myself, bro. This is what I hate, bro. I, I, I'm struggling when I, when I freaking straight razor myself. I don't know why. When I cut the people, I do amazing. Do not cut them at all. I straight razor myself. I always cut myself. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna brush down a little bit. Barely tap the edge up, because the edge up is not bad at all. like that we're all good so i'll probably get out the shower come back add a little couple enhancements because you know i'm thinning right there and right there but other than that we good we're back in business my last client just came in for the day he told me not to flame him why should i flame you right now let me hear what happened what happened i got fucked up dude. they said they, they didn't fuck my boy up Nash, i know you see that shit dude that fucking left bite oh my goodness him. now I, i'm not the type of dude to knock barbers i'm not but we're going to zoom in on this. You mind if I zoom in on this? Oh, you got to get oh that Oh, my shit. gosh. Oh, my goodness. Bro, what happened? The motherfucker was on his hands. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is why you don't cheat on your barber. Exactly why. I know. I was out of town, though. So, I'm, I'm going to give you... I understand. I understand. This motherfucker ain't going out of town no more. I'm not. I can't, I'm not allowed to go out of town no more. But we, <laughs> I'm going to get you right, though. You back. You back. So basically we're going back to this. So what I was telling my boy right here is like, I will say, I know his natural side part doesn't grow full like it does on this side, on the other side. So what this barber tried to do, I'm just gonna explain to what he was trying to do. What he was trying to do, he basically pushed this side back or, or up more to match this side. 
which he should have done that. He should have just been honest. And honestly, it was his first time cutting his hair. So me personally, I would have just been like, hey, like I hope you know this side doesn't match like the other side. And then he would have been like, oh, okay, or oh, I know. And then obviously you have a reason, which is that reason is why. Oh, me? You said why. Oh, oh. I, I, had, uh, I got in a forward accident. And I scraped the tree and I had a scab. A scar? Right here. Yeah, a scar or a yeah, scab okay. for like four or five months. And you push it back, you kind of yeah, you see, see a little ball spot. For, for some people side. don't know though. Some people don't know. Let me zoom the camera out. So you have a scar, your hair's not going to grow over the scar. Once you have a scar, it's done and over. There's no hair that's going to be growing. But we're about to bring my boy back. I'm actually kind of glad this happened today because y'all going to get some haircut yeah. footage. So, yes, because today is actually my brother's gender reveal. And that's why I'm. Blogging. Oh yeah, yeah. Which For real, one? team boy, team girl. Uh, boy all the way. Yeah. You said boy? Okay. Well, is it his first or second? This is first. You know, first. You know I'm the, old, I, I, yeah, I'm the I oldest, want. bro. So he's the, he's the youngest. He beat me. I would want a boy first. So okay. Boy. Well, stay tuned. So that was my last cut of the day. I hope y'all enjoyed the the haircuts in between this video because this wasn't supposed to be a haircut video, but I had to incorporate some of it because this is what this channel is about. But we're about to get ready and go to the venue. So stay tuned because we ready to see if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. We almost ready. Outfit on point. Outfit on point. Young Tars at him. So we were supposed to put the dog in a tutu, but the dog is scared of me. Let's try to do this. Come here, Lulu. Come here. Come here, Mama. It's okay. Bro, I'm about to get big. So we officially got the dog out the cage. We had to get my brother up here to knock on the door. Luckily that happened. Dog ran out. Dog peed everywhere out of being so excited. But we're locked in and we're ready to put one of these two dresses on. Let's go. All right, so the animal is put into the dress. We're gonna have to put her safely into the box. Hopefully she doesn't freak out. And let's go surprise these people. Shout out to my mom for making those delicious enchiladas. Hey. 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 for this beautiful day. Uh, shout, out, shout out to Madeline for helping Brenda with the baking. Shout out, for all, shout out to all y'all for coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to call y'all my friends. Uh, Aww. 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 Uh, <laughs> just thank you guys for coming. If you guys are here, that means you guys are very important to us. And whatever the gender is, you know, we're going to be happy. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Not your attention, then I don't want none. Got me going crazy, baby. I need you saving. Be making me get this girl. What's your love language? If it's what you know, this song about you had to write it down because your love is so true. Smack it from the So I didn't get to make a outro video yesterday due to the fact that it was just so crazy. I had to help clean up. And there was just a lot of things that I needed to take care of and help my family out. I woke up early today, 
because I had to do haircuts and I had some time today and I was like, why not film the rest of the video now? So first of all, I just want to say welcome to the Barber Journal. And it took me a while to really figure out what kind of video I wanted to drop first due to the fact I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be good and I wanted everybody to like it. But I came to the fact that nothing's perfect in life, in YouTube, not, nothing's perfect. You just got to do it. So I just thought, why not start with my first video being this? Letting y'all get an insight on my life, see, letting y'all see what kind of person I am, and also giving y'all some haircut videos while I'm, while I'm doing that. So I just want to say, welcome to the Barber Journal. And stay tuned because we got a lot more on the way.